we will discuss the displacement time graph. Uh, displacement time graph, actually displacement is taken along y-axis. Displacement is taken along y-axis and time along x-axis. You have to take displacement along y-axis and time along x-axis. Displacement time and distance time graph become same. Are same when body moves in one direction of if the body is moving only on only in one direction then we say the displacement time graph and distance time graph are always same uh, for displacement time graph we take in this way time is always positive this is the time this is the zero and this is s this is positive s into negative s this will be this is the displacement time but if you have distance time graph and displacement time graph if they are same then we can have this thing also this is the displacement time graph and this can be called a distance time graph or displacement time graph actually this, this graph uh, uh, is used when body moves suppose first in this direction then it is moving here in the other direction uh, but you can have the displacement time and distance time graph same if body moves only in one direction or only in positive uh, uh, ex, uh, positive displacement are only in the negative displacement what the case may be so we have all these graphs like this one uh, then what should be the gradient and what should be the y-intercept actually I tell you a hint I give you a hint a hint is always if you want to find the physical interpretation of the gradient physical interpretation of the gradient you always first write this one units along y-axis upon units along x-axis then from this quantity you can determine easily the gradient okay, what the gradient will be representing for example if this is the displacement time graph is and the units of this are meter upon second or unit meter per second so clearly hence I can say gradient of displacement time graph gradient of displacement time graph is it is the velocity of the body so if the gradient is constant body will move constant velocity if the gradient is not constant body will uh, body will not be moving constant velocity then velocity at different points can be found I will discuss the situation later on and what about the physical interpretation of area under the graph physical interpretation of area under the graph will be units along y-axis multiplied by units along x-axis now along y-axis meter into second there's not a physical quantity known physical quantity which has the units of meter into second so I will say uh, area under the graph is nothing area under graph is a meaningless quantity in this case So area under the graph is a meaningless quantity in that case. So that is the uh, something about the displacement time graph. See displacement is along y-axis and time along x-axis. Then the gradient uh, shows the velocity of the body and area under the graph is nothing. I will discuss a few important graphs for the displacement time graph. So important
displacement time graphs so important displacement time graphs let us see actually first suppose if the body is at rest if the body is at rest means its displacement will be zero if displacement will be zero is the time as the time passes so I will take this portion this one and moreover this horizontal lines graded to be to the displacement zero this is body as body is at rest but this is at origin it can be at another place also for example uh, this body is also at rest this body is also at rest but body is at rest but not at origin you can see as the time is passing the displacement is same so I can always say the body is at rest here also you can see the time is passing but displacement of the body is zero which body is at rest at uh, origin now you can also say here the gradient of this zero the gradient is zero means uh, the velocity of the body is zero so its body is at rest number one number two uh, suppose if body moves with constant velocity if body moves with constant velocity or speed constant velocity or speed mm, I'm like constant velocity suppose I'm just uh, sticking the vectors this place and this one so if the body moves with constant velocity and if velocity is positive then I will say this is a zero as uh, so the time is the displacement is the gradient must be constant a straight line a straight line gradient and it shows the body is moving with constant velocity or uniform velocity here if you can find the gradient this one gradient will be the velocity and it's the positive velocity body is moving with positive velocity body can move with a negative velocity for example if there's a negative velocity then suppose it moves in this way uh, this is suppose the displacement this is a time this one now this gradient is negative if this gradient is negative means the velocity this gradient is positive this line is also positive gradient and it's a negative gradient so here the velocity what is the velocity of the body is uh, negative here uh, I can usually sometimes it is said that find the velocity from given conditions suppose suppose if this graph is in meters and suppose this says 50 and suppose this says 5 so I can find the gradient of this is suppose 50 upon 5 is 10 gradient is 10 so I will say velocity of body is 10 meter per second so it is a constant velocity of 10 meter per second uh, it's uh, also from common sense it is covering 50 meter in 5 seconds with constant velocity so uh, body has a constant velocity or uniform velocity like this one but suppose body may not have a constant velocity body may have an acceleration if the body may have an acceleration for example then the third thing is body having an acceleration if the body has an acceleration then what happens uh, this graph like becomes this one it has an acceleration so gradient will be increasing and increasing this the displacement is the time now if this time comes it means the gradient is different at different cases you can see if I have of this marker uh, if the gradient is this one I uh, if you place this marker up and it gradient is increasing and increasing so I can say body is under acceleration body is under acceleration or I can say body moves 
body moves with non-uniform velocity. Body moves with non-uniform velocity. I can't say here that body is moving with constant acceleration. Acceleration may be constant or acceleration may be variable here, but body is definitely not under the constant velocity. But it's not moving. Now suppose if I have to find the velocity at this point A, what I will do, I will draw a tangent like this one here, tangent this one, and then I'll find the gradient of this tangent. Gradient of tangent at point A actually gives what? Velocity at point A. Suppose if you are given anything on the graph, you may be given an exit graph paper and you are being given these lines and suppose you are asked that find the velocity at point A, just draw a tangent at point A. Just draw a tangent and find its gradient. The gradient of uh, the gradient of this tangent actually is the velocity at point A. But this is an acceleration. Suppose the body is under deceleration. Suppose the body is under deceleration. Then the body is decelerating the body is decelerating then what happens uh, you can say this way body is decelerating s and t suppose from here but this one body is decelerating see because actually if you see the gradient here is yes, this one the gradient is become what decreasing and decreasing so this is the body under deceleration. Uh, this is the body under deceleration. Suppose if you throw a stone or ball upward, it comes and goes down. What is the displacement time graph of this body? If the ball is thrown, this is just the deceleration. But suppose if you are asked to sketch the graph when the ball is thrown upward, uh, suppose if this is the position and the ball is thrown from here, ball is thrown with velocity u here, it goes here and it comes up to here suppose at this point. Uh, it, it, it is not moving down but it comes just suppose this one. How the displacement time graph will be? Then displacement time graph will be for this body will be like this one. Uh, see okay, it will be uh, like this one with the displacement time graph. The displacement time graph body will be this one. Why this one? Because see here, body is decelerating, but its velocity is positive. Here, although the speed increases because the gradient increases, but that gradient is negative, so it's decelerating. Always uh, here, the velocity will be different, but uh, if um, actually acceleration is constant here, so this is the graph when I can say when ball is thrown vertically upward. This is the uh, displacement time graph when the ball is thrown vertically upward. But suppose if it is thrown from a height, some like this one, suppose a kill for building, it goes, it goes up and comes down here. Then what should be the graph for this position? Displacement time graph. Now here the displacement will be negative also. So the displacement time graph will be like this one here and here. Now here, what should the displacement after that? Displacement must be like this one. Like this one. It goes like this one. This is the displacement. You can see the negative gradient is increasing and increasing. Negative gradient increasing, increasing means that actually speed is increasing, but it's the body is under, it's still decelerating. Uh, actually up to here, this is this point, up to the distance is zero. But after that the displacement is negative, so this point, this displacement in time. For this one when the ball or something is thrown from a height of building or suppose, and this is the point when it will strike, suppose 
strikes the uh, ground or water, water may be condition. So it can be, uh, it's not level, it can be more or less or whatever, whatever may be condition. But suppose there are sometimes the ping pong balls and you you actually throw a uh, you throw a ball it bounces then it bounces infinitely then what should be the graph for example suppose if you throw a ball here first it goes it comes down then it rises it comes down rises goes there and it goes on and and actually these uh, then distances to increase uh, decrease but this is the case what should the displacement time graph for this body you can take in this way suppose is the time the displacement first initially it must be like this one then these graphs will be like this one uh, these loops uh, will be always uh, become less and less in height and this one and goes on this one displacement time graph uh, sometime uh, if it's not uh, if you are suppose standing on a, some building and you are taking a is this zero and you are taking uh, you are this uh, you are just suppose ball falls here and and it comes here and it rebounds here and it comes here it rebounds here and comes here on this say then I can have this graph also like this one the time displacement this one the graph should be here decreasing this this is also the displacement time graph when a body bounces uh, regularly uh, you can see its height is decreasing and decreasing due to uh, other friction or other uh, because it is losing its energy now for example uh, see suppose I'm giving another graph for the displacement time graph here let us see how can you explain this graph suppose the graph is like this one you have to extend this graph and this suppose are four marks time displacement this is a this is b and this is c what happens in oa section what happens in ab section what happens in BC section? This is four marks. Suppose you have to explain. Suppose what happens in OA section? In OA section, see gradient is constant, positive. Body moves with constant velocity. Then in AB section. body is at rest why it is at rest is a horizontal line its gradient is zero so velocity is zero in a b section and what happens in b c section now see here it's a constant gradient so i can say body moves with constant velocity in opposite direction that in OA section you can see in OA section the positive gradient is a negative gradient and moreover the last I can say is speed in BC section is greater than speed in OA section I am talking about the speed not the velocity because this velocity is positive this velocity is negative so it always be greater but I am talking about the speed here the speed is more see the gradient is uh, there's a uh, it has a more larger gradient so although uh, it means that it has a more speed and also in the end body returns to original position now sometimes examiner can say give any physical example for this one suppose I can say suppose a thief is there this is a house of the thief okay uh, the a thief is there uh, he just walks 
uh, at a constant speed and reaches a park in A. Okay, this is just a thief. He walks here. This is his home. Okay, he walks at constant speed up to here, and this is the park. And he takes a race over here. But as soon as he sees a police constable uh, coming to arrest him, suppose. Uh, he sees a police constable to co uh, coming to uh, arrest him then he runs fast to his home he runs fast so that he can reach home so that is the situation you can take in that way so clearly here see in OA section and BC section in BC section his speed is more but in both sections OA and BC velocity is constant or speed is constant in both sections separately in OA section is velocity is constant in BC section velocity is constant but speed in BC is greater than speed in OA section and AB section body is at rest and body always because the displacement is zero again at this point so actually body returns to the original positions so these were the some graphs for the displacement time